It's time for Madagascar Movie Reviews, starting with Madagascar. I have seen this probably five times throughout my childhood, and now once as an adult, and I seriously just realized that the island they go to in the movie Madagascar is Madagascar. I wish I was joking. This movie gaslit an entire generation of children that Madagascar is an uninhabited tropical island, when in fact it has a population of 27.68 million. It's truly amazing how much blatant animal cruelty can go over the top of your head as a child. The Central Park Zoo having that big of a staff, but none of the animals having any sort of proper enrichment in their enclosures is peak. Someone who is good at the economy, please help me budget this. My animals are escaping. Vibes. It's just funny how the lion says roar instead of actually roaring. I can't stop thinking about Mort's 12 deceased wives. I've just clocked that Mort means death in Latin. Wow, this film has so many layers. That's literally terrifying. The penguins straight up killed people. The penguins are so badass. I cannot unsee Alex the Lion as Jake Gyllenhaal. Sometimes a family is a hypochondriac giraffe, a milfy hippopotamus, a zebra with the word wanderlust somewhere in his Instagram bio, a lion that looks like it never gave Taylor Swift her scarf back, and four psychotic penguins. Girafe, you have to go back to Africa. We watched this film in my high school geography class once. It's nice to know that my parents' hard-earned money went towards watching something like this. It makes me optimistic about the future of American education. I love Melman, a mentally ill king. I'm becoming more and more like Melman each and every day. I don't think you guys understand. Me and Melman the giraffe are the same gosh darn person. I am the paranoia of Melman and the anxiety of Mort combined into one human. The scene where they're tripping out in Grand Central Station has ratatouille strawberry and cheese scene vibes, and both are life-changing. I never realized how gay this movie was. Alex and Marty are a couple I stan. I was making jokes about Alex and Marty being boyfriends, and then Alex actually tries to eat Marty's ass. Being gay is a choice. I chose to watch this when I was 10, and now I'm gay. This is literally queer cinema, and if you dislike this movie, you're homophobic. King Julian is bisexual. I don't make the rules. King Julian is just Jeff Goldblum's persona. Thinking about when I was doing a biology test in year 11, and one of the questions was, how have lemurs had to adapt to their environments? And me and my friend both wrote that they had to learn to protect themselves from the fossa. Get in, loser. We're going to the lemur rave. This movie is the origin story of my veganism. As a kid, I always wanted to eat the tree used by Alex to get Melman out of the box. Young me really thought they were cream-filled wafer sticks. Someone told me I look like the flamingo from this movie. But there's no flamingo! Wow, awkward coincidence that I just happened to watch the one film that Chris Rock and Jada Pinkett Smith starred in together a day before the Oscars. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, alright? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Madagascar, escape to Africa. Mortagascar too. Mort, 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 Mort. Private is so cute and stupid. I want to hold him like a baby. We gonna ignore the fact that this movie begins with the penguins brutally beating up the DreamWorks Fisher boy. Just Ice Age, but warm. When I watched this for the first time in elementary school, I had the physically fit, I like to move it song stuck in my head for what felt like an entire year. This has allegories about racism, monarchy, toxic masculinity, a suicide attempt, and also an LGBTQ plus kiss. I freaking love DreamWorks. Gotta love a story about a conservative father coming to accept his gay theater kid son. 
Alex the Lion is both mentally ill, daddy issues, and queer-coded, a dancer and belongs to a pride of lions. And that's why some of you hate him. Not bad. The best part is when the penguins commit vehicular homicide. And there is no sacrifice greater than someone else. <laughs> Granny vs. Alex. Top 10 Best Anime Battles. The old lady fight scenes fixed sexism, but the hippo's song reversed it by 50 years. Every day of my life, I've waited to hear someone tell me. I think Motomoto Moto likes you. Ways Moto Moto likes him. Big. Chunky. Big. Plumpy. Round. With something something. Moto Moto got me giggling and curling my toes. I passed out after the Moto Moto scene, but I saw all I needed to see. I wonder how Will I Am feels that in his long career as a musician, his best work was the Moto Moto theme. Someone on the animation team had a thing for hippos. Just saying. I blame this movie for my taste in women. I wonder how many parents had to explain to their children that giraffes cannot date hippos. Marty, I can look into your eyes and I know it's you. Sounds like something from a sweet indie romance movie, but it's from Madagascar 2 spoken by a gay lion to a zebra. When I saw this in theaters as a six-year-old, the scene where Alex dances for the New Yorkers while Hans Zimmer's and Will I Am's Alex on the Spot plays moved me to tears. I was so deeply touched. I wish this was a joke. I just want Alex's Dilf Lion Dad to hold me and tell me everything is going to be okay. King Julian, to me, is what the fox from Zootopia is to many people out there. You know, I was thinking, when we get back, I might just sign up for the breeding program. Breeding program? I think Why is it called Escape to Africa if Madagascar is already in Africa? Also, why does Gloria talk about learning African? I enjoy the storyline, but some of the writing is confusing. Also, how did the tourists from New York build a dam in the span of two days? And one final thing, why does Moto Moto call Gloria huge when she's clearly the same size as the other hippos? If he only cared about her body, which he does, then why wouldn't he just go find a really large hippo? Also, why is Melman animated differently than the other giraffes, but Alex, Marty, and Gloria are all animated the same as their species? Establishing shot of the World Trade Center to show we're in a flashback is kind of grim. Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. Mordagascar 3! More, 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 This movie expects me to believe that a lion, giraffe, hippo, and zebra swam from Africa all the way to Monte Carlo. While I don't buy that, I do buy the idea that penguins can build multiple aircrafts. The penguins could single-handedly take down every major government and military within a week, but instead they just go to Antarctica, fix a plane, and buy a circus. They could simply own the world if they wanted to, but just don't. The hold that freaking circus afro song had on kids in 2012 needs to be freaking studied by professionals. I remember when I first saw the trailer for this in 2011, and I legitimately thought Marty was singing Asshole Circus. Noah Baumbach's best work, I think. Okay, this is a good-ass movie. And not just because Jessica Chastain Jaguar is hot. DreamWorks forcing Alex into a heterosexual romance in this movie after the clear queer coding of his character in Madagascar Escape to Africa. Messy. I know one hot Russian circus tiger. That tiger could realistically fit inside any hole he desired. Just saying. Take yourself. I'm the piece of paper that says dignity burning up in flames. I looked it up, and yes, hair conditioner is not flammable. Never expected a Madagascar movie to contain a piece of actually sound logic. Yet, here we are. The way Maurice's smile immediately disappeared when he realized King Julian didn't die. 
Cinema was invented in 2012, when Conte Partiro played over a lemur and grizzly bear in a tutu, riding a motorbike through Rome. Yes, I got goosebumps when Firework by Katy Perry played, and yes, I think it's the worst decision made in the making of this film. I watched this at two times speed on mute, but only put on the audio for Dubois' song, because she's just that girl. I want to be mothered by Dubois as a baby chick resting in her warm nest of twigs and leaves until the day I die. Chantal Dubois' build will always be fascinating. I watched this stupendously hungover, and when the repugnant French lady started skittering on the ground like a spider sniffing for animal scent, a biblically proportioned wave of nausea hit me so hard, I actually cried a little. I was going to give this one star, but then the penguin said Baba Booey. Baba Booey! In 2018, I made an ambient noise album that's literally just Afro Circus with a ton of reverb and distortion, slowed down so much that it's a half hour long. And I'm so happy I rewatched this so I can finally share this with you all. If you're past the age of 14 and haven't seen this film before, don't bother. The only way to enjoy this and every other Madagascar movie is to have seen it like 10 years ago and remember it as the most confusing, hallucination-inducing, acid trip kind of a fever dream. You need to have seen it as a kid with an undistinguishable expression, trying to understand at least one joke, and now, at last, after 10 or more years, you can rewatch it and confirm that it's still as unintelligible and incomprehensible as it was. But at least you understand the jokes now. Five stars. Physically fit. Physically fit. Physically, physically, physically fit. Big thank you to my Patreon members, my little ruse, Kuski55, Fallen Vexen, Sam, Donka42, I Am a Noodle, John Huang, and Fantastic Wreck. Thank you so much for your extra support on Patreon. It means the world to me. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. I wish you all the very best. Keep on being awesome. And the same goes to my YouTube channel members, my mini ruse, AD, Taylor Thompson, Rockstar Killer, and Debella. Thank you for your extra support. I'm so glad to have you be a part of my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying awesome. And thank you to everyone else who watched. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me, which of the Madagascar movies is your favorite? Because I think it's kind of hard to choose. And sorry I didn't do Penguins of Madagascar, but I figured I'd just stick to the main series for this video. But again, thank you for watching. I wish you all the best, and I will see you in the next video.